worth every step. It's a fantastic garden, so I really would recommend that you go up there and have a look. That's new for this year. Um, in a moment or two, I'm going to ask Lord Burlington to step forward with his wife, Lady Burlington, and their three children, Maud, James and Nell, and they're going to officially open the event. But before that, I would like to do a presentation. Lord Burlington is going to present um, a raffle prize. Um, the tea cottage manager, Zoe, who was the age 24, um, sadly she died of a heart attack last year. It was brought on by um, an asthma attack. And they've held a raffle and they've raised £2,900 and 36 keys. And that is going to be for a defibrillator that's going to be located in the telephone box, which is opposite the tea cottage. So should something like this happen again, we will be prepared. I should say that recently um, a gentleman in Pilsley had a heart attack and two of the guys on the domain team, they helped kept him alive for 30 minutes because they had a defibrillator in the village and he has survived. So it's a well worthy cause and it's brilliant that we're going to have one in this village. So thank you to the tea cottage. and. Zoe's parents are here. Um, Lord Burns, if you'd like to step forward, I'd like you to present the hamper. The winner of the hamper is a Mr. Richard Ryan from Sheffield, and the hamper is being presented by Zoe's parents. I'm going to, now, Lord Burlington is looking very smart here today. Um, Lord Burlington is currently the High Sheriff of Derbyshire, um, and he's wearing his full and it was he, he had to, I told him he'd got to. So there we go. Um, I'm going to hand you over to Lord Burlington. Um, before I do so, put your hands in your pockets, please, um, because I'd like to spend lots of money to top last year's funds that we raised. We raised £10,500, which went to Dementia UK, Leukemia Chance at Cancer and St Peter's Church in memory of our friends and neighbours. This year we're raising money for Helen's Trust in, Gladys Hop in memory of Gladys Hopkins. She was the widow of Dennis who was head gardener at Chatsworth here for many years and Lady Elizabeth Cavendish, the late Duke's sister and Lord Burlington's aunt. So I'll hand you over to Lord Burlington now so he, Lady Burlington and the children can officially open the event. Lord Burlington, I'm sure you want to say a few words. <laughs> Thank you very much, Diane. Well, just before anything else, we'd like to give a round of applause to Diane Naylor, who, with many others, made such a success of the day. I know you're going to enjoy yourselves, but uh, give it up for Diane. Um, thank you, Diane. I could say some words about being High Sheriff. I am High Sheriff for a year. Um, very honoured to do that. Uh, the, the, uh, the outfit is not a uniform, it's the court dress of the 17th century, so it's what I would have gone to court and uh, paid my dues wearing this. Uh, there's very little for me to do now other than celebrate the great uh, county that is Derbyshire and recognise the unsung heroes of which there are very, very many all around the county uh, and um, uh, institutions such as the police force and the emergency services. It's been a, a real honour to do that, as it is a great honour to be here today. Uh, I've got my sword carrier, I've got my hat carrier, and I've got my umbrella carrier. So that's what you need when you're high sheriff these days uh, uh, on an English summer's day. Um, we've seen already what charity can do uh, with, with the defibrillator that, that has been acquired here. Um, and uh, I know that uh, you all know that charity is the name of the game today. Now, back in the day, the, the, the high sheriff... It's, a, it's an a thousand year old role, and you might have heard of the Sheriff of Nottingham, obviously nothing like that these days, but uh, we were once upon a time responsible for tax collecting. Now we're not in that position, but I am exhorting all of you to dig deep, as, as Diane said, and uh, not to pay tax, but to give to every charitable cause you can find in this village. And I've got a sword here just to back up my words, so <laughs> please take my advice. Now, I don't want to waste all your day. It's fantastic to see so many people. There's many things to do here. You've got uh, all sorts of entertainments, including the powder cake Morris dancers, 
Uh, then we've got the brass band from Holy Moorside. We've even got Canon Dave doing a musical interlude a bit later on. There's nothing that you don't want to see here. Everything, something for everyone. Um, uh, but now, uh, most importantly, we're going to declare it open. How are we going to do that? Have you got a plan? <laughs> we're going to declare it open and they're going to chop. One, two, three. With the sword. I'm a little bit worried it's a tiny bit rusty. Oh, no, sorry, that's the blood of pirates, as I told my ch children. Um, I think we're going to go with the scissors on this occasion. Uh, so let's go for it. Nelly, go for it. Big chop. Good night, Yay! Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Have a wonderful day. I'll do it. Oh, look. 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 Oh,